guys, welcome back. My name is Scott and this is another My Bourbon Journey review. So if you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys, uh, such as bourbons, ryes, uh, American style whiskeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, also hit the bell notification, that's gonna alert you to when I'm doing uh, new uploads, live streams, things along those lines. So today, and in full disclosure, these bottles were sent to me for me to do a review of. Uh, this is a company out of uh, New Richmond, Wisconsin. Um, distillery name is 45th Parallel Distillery. Uh, again, out of uh, New Richmond, Wisconsin. So it's relatively local. They are several hours from where I am, uh, but it's still uh, produced in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, this is something that is produced and bottled uh, by this company. This, these are not um, uh, source uh, bourbons or whiskeys. So... Um, so again, they were sent to me for me to do the review of. So why don't we, what I'm going to do is we'll start from left to right and uh, we'll kind of go through that. So the first product here is going to be their border uh, bourbon. This is going to be a 92 proof or 46% uh, ABV uh, bourbon. Um, I'll go through the mash bills and stuff or information shortly on that. Uh, second is going to be the uh, New Richmond Straight Rye. Uh, whiskey bottled at also 92 proof or 46% uh, ABV. And third is going to be the uh, W. Um, this is going to be the, what they call as their Wisconsin wheat uh, whiskey. So this is bottled at 96.02 proof or 48.01% uh, uh, ABV. Uh, all non-age stated. However, they are all a minimum of uh, four years old. Um, they are um, actually stored in 53-gallon uh, Ozark oak, so something a little bit different, um, but still 53-gallon uh, oak barrel. So a uh, little bit of uh, information. MSRP on each one of these is right between that $45 and $50 uh, range. So uh, very kind of uh, mid-level pricing and stuff nowadays uh, for what we kind of consider a uh, craft uh, distiller. So uh, like I said before, I got a little bit more information on these. So again, left to right, the border bourbon uh, mash bill that I was able to find on this. Um, really not any any real information I could find. Um, I wasn't able to get um, any real, real information from them directly in terms of the mash bills. Uh, but again, non-age stated for the, the border straight um, uh, bourbon, however, it is a four grain bourbon. I uh, don't know the mash bill, so that'll be interesting to try that. So second is going to be the um, New Richmond Straight Rye. Uh, this is going to be um, essentially a a starting point of 65% rye, and then after that, I wasn't able to uh, locate or find out what the other grain or grains were that were in that rye. And then third and final is the uh, w, which is the Wisconsin uh, wheat whiskey, uh, three grain. Uh, this is going to be, so we know this is a minimum of 51% uh, uh, wheat. Uh, but again, that was really all I, I could find out regarding that. So uh, why don't we get into the, uh, the review? And again, I'm going to go from left to right and uh, we'll see what we've got. So what I like to try to do with really all of my reviews are we'll get into the, um, the appearance. We'll go through the nose, the taste, palate. Uh, the finish, and then we'll kind of follow up with any other general information regarding the channel. So, all right, let's go ahead. We'll get into the appearance here. So you can see me with it being a minimum of four years old, um, you know, per the information that they sent me, you know, it's got a nice, nice real amber color to it. Um, don't know exactly what the char was. I don't know if they had sent me anything having to do what the char levels were. No, they didn't. So, uh, but you can see a really nice kind of color to that. You know, it's got some age to it, a little bit of, little bit of age to it. So pretty decent proof at, at 92 proof. So let's get, the, get into the nose here. Yeah, so I mean, with it being a four grain and not knowing what the mash bill is, so I'm picking up a little bit of the, the, the corn grain. Um, a bit of a kind of a butterscotch, light butterscotch note. Um, some some dark fruit type of influence. A little bit of nuttiness to it. S 
sweet, still kind of sweet. And I think it's, it's, you know, just from the, the corn presence there, you're getting some of that kind of corn sweetness. And I don't know if the, if the barrel being Ozark Oak, if that's influencing any, um, you know, extra sweetness or anything like that. Um, I don't know if, if that's kind of imparting any of that. So that'd be interested to know. Um, yeah, definitely that, that kind of caramel, that kind of, um, more of, um, uh, like a, I, I guess I want to say like a burnt caramel. So it's a little stronger, but, but still sweet on the nose. Anyway, let's go ahead. We'll get into the, um, yeah, I, just as I took that away, I got a little bit of, a, like a, a kind of a cherry note to it as well. Now let's give this a try. Cheers. So like I try to do is rather than try to, um, you know, go through or begin the, the process of trying to figure out the taste, get the, get the, the palate coated a little bit so that you are preparing your mouth for, you know, really the, the full experience. So I'll get a, give another taste and then we'll kind of begin from there. So initial thought is you're getting still a little bit of that that um, that corn presence on the palate. I'm actually picking up a bit of a a honey and a, and that dark fruit influence. I wasn't getting really honey on the nose, but I'm picking it up on uh, on on the 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 palate, and I'm also picking up and I don't know if it's there or not, but I'm picking up like a, a wheat influence as well. So that soft, um, not necessarily doughiness, just that soft kind of like, I guess I always describe it as like a floral type of note. That's just the softness of, of a whiskey is what I pick up when I'm, when I'm tasting anything that's got kind of wheat in it. So, you know, really nice kind of balanced, uh, not a lot of heat to it again at only 92 proof. That nuttiness is, is there for sure. Little bit of kind of a baking spice influence. Some wood or oak characteristics are there for sure. But I'm I'm on the finished part of it, I'm really getting the for me, like the wheat influence of, of this. So very interesting, kind of different um different layers of, of flavor as, as the finish begins to kind of develop. So I'll take a, a sip just to kind of cleanse the palate here. We'll move on. So what I was going to do is I, I was originally going to uh, finish with the, the wheat whiskey, but in order to kind of get the, the full um, kind of, uh, experience of everything. I wanted to mix it up and, and go from a bourbon to a rye and then to a weeded whiskey, just so that I can I can pull out some some maybe different flavors. Um, you know, the rye usually kind of wants to um, you know influence things. Rye is a very you know bold type of grain, so I wanted to kind of throw this in second. Usually, I've I've done in the past where I'll just kind of do a a rye last, but um, I, I kind of changed it up a little bit. So. So anyway, so this is again their New Richmond straight rye. So we know based on it being straight that it would be technically considered at least two years old, but I was told that these were all a minimum of, of four years old. So so as you can see, again, really similar to the the border bourbon, you know, really nice kind of color to that, real nice kind of amber, amber type of color. So yeah, so um, right away, I'm getting this, this baking spice kind of rye influence, definitely some, some oak. Um, there's a, there's like a, a candy sweetness type of, of note to it. I'm, I'm having a hard time picking out what that is, but it's like, if you smell 
uh, like a just a sweet candy, just a general sweet candy, that, that kind of confectionery type of, of note. And one other thing I'm getting with this right away is a really strong influence of, of honey. Um, it kind of really registered there, like if you were almost like pulling out uh, the honey, you know, from the hive, like how strong that influence is. Yeah, I'm getting a real strong kind of like a spearmint honey type of, of uh, nose to that. So real, real interesting. I don't know if I've ever had or tried a rye that I was getting that much like honey influence. So I'll be interested to see what this, uh, what it tastes like kind of on the, on the palate. So cheers. Yeah, so very, very similar to the nose. It's really kind of incredible how much, like honey is really wanting to come through with this more than I've ever had on a rye before. There's still that little bit of a, a spearmint note that's there, but really heavy, heavily influenced on the, the honey side of it, that baking spice rye kind of combo are, are both there, but really nice kind of honey influence to that. Something I've never, never really picked up that much on a, on a rye before. Coats the mouth really well, but yeah, that, that honey influence is really there. The wood characteristic, the barrel influence is wanting to kind of come through. Really, really nice well-balanced rye whiskey. Um, different flavor profiles than I've had before, I would say with really any other rye. So uh, really, really enjoy that, you know, specifically. Um, the legs on here were really nice. So it coated the, coated the glass, you know, really well. Felt like it basically did the same thing with, um, with the, the mouth in general, coated the mouth really, really well. So. Yeah, really interesting, unique, very flavorful uh, rye. They've done a really, really nice job of, of that. So, and again, these are all in terms of the grains being sourced relatively, you know, locally too, which is, is nice from, from that standpoint. So, all right, so we'll finish up with, um, third is gonna be the, the wheat whiskey. And again, that was, um, this is just a, a three grain uh, wheat. So we know with it being a weeded whiskey, we know we're starting with at least 51% wheat, so. And yeah, I guess going back to this right away, um, maybe with whatever, whatever the other grain or grains are outside of the 65% rye, there's something there that's really influencing the, the honey note to that. Yeah, I kind of go back to that just because I'm, I'm super fascinated by the, the flavor profile of it. But anyway, so let's get into, again, so this is going to be the the W or the uh, Wisconsin Wheat Whiskey. Uh, again, three grains, minimum 51% wheat. Uh, don't know, uh, we know the, the minimum age on it, uh, according to them, was, was four years old, so. All right, so as you can see, very similar. These have all had the, a very similar type of, um, you know, color profile to them, that, that kind of dark honey type of color, light amber ish type of color so all right so let's get into this and see where we're at with the uh the w uh wisconsin wheat whiskey yeah so all right so it's a little higher proof than the other two this is 96 point um i think 96.01 proof is, is uh 96.02 proof excuse me so a little bit more proof uh than the other two but still not getting a hit with a you know heavy alcohol didn't get hit with heavy alcohol on the nose with really any of them. Mm, yeah, real soft kind of floral note. Um, the, the barrel influence is there, kind of that nice light kind of char uh, note to it. Um, uh, a lot of kind of vanilla on this one. Still kind of picking up a little bit of a a honey note to this as well. 
I don't think this is really any uh, carryover at all. Um, just also picking up, I mean, the rye and, and the weeded whiskey, I mean, these are two completely different profiles. So um, I, I shouldn't be getting any carry, uh, carryover, but I am picking up a, a bit of a, a honey note on this as well. Yeah, really nice, kind of sweet. Again, that, that candy corn type of, of note there. Um, not really any, any nuttiness or anything like that. Just a nice kind of sweet nose. Um, not a ton there, but again, that's with any weeded whiskey is that you're, it's going to be a little more muted. It's a softer grain. So you're not going to pick up, you know, a huge amount, you know, especially while you're nosing something. So you get that that wheat influence, which is soft and floral to me, but outside of that, I'm not picking up a, a lot of other stuff outside of the, the barrel, the barrel characteristics, things like that. Now let's give this a try. Cheers. Yeah, so definitely a a wheat whiskey, soft, floral, buttery. There's a bit of little bit of a tingle on the on the the mid palate. Ah, oh, there's something there that I'm struggling to kind of pick out a little bit, but yeah, there, there's this kind of like buttery note to it. Coats the mouth again, really nice mouth feel to it, similar to the rye. Yeah, just this um really nice like a like a strong uh wheat. Like I'm trying to think of a uh, like a cracked wheat, something where you get like more of a a heavier wheat influence with a little bit of spice. There's some some wood presence there, some something from the barrel. Real interesting kind of flavor profile. Um, again, really coats the mouth well. Finish probably on the the medium side. And maybe the the other thing I'm picking up now is a little bit of a, maybe a like a a zest of some sort, not necessarily uh, orange or anything like that, just that zest. So it's a little bit I I hate to say bitter, but that flavor you get from from a zest. It's it's fairly. Um, It's fairly like kind of potent, but this is just that muted a little bit. So I'm getting that kind of on the, the mid to the back of the palate uh, with this. Yeah, let me try something else see here. Yeah, just a really nice wheat grain presence to that. Just a really nice weeded uh, whiskey. Um, I think they've done a fantastic job with, with all of them. And, and, you know, I'm with my reviews, I'm, I'm always unbiased with anything. Um, you know, if, if there was something I didn't like, I would say, but with this, each particular whiskey, very different in their own right. Um, just solid. I mean, they're very, very good, uh, whiskey. So, I mean, I, I would encourage if somebody or if you guys would like to, um, you know, reach out to them or see where their distribution is. I think they're a little, um, there, there's a wider distribution of, of these, uh, these whiskeys, I believe. So again, I'll have some links in the description below, uh, to the distillery, uh, as much about the products as possible. So if you want to reach out or do a little bit, uh, of research on them, you know, feel free to do so. But yeah, I think they've done a, a super job with, with really all of them. So, you know, thanks again to uh, 45th Parallel Distillery for sending these for me to, uh, to do the uh, review of. So, uh, fantastic job. So, 
Uh, with that being said, so um, give me a thumbs up, uh, leave me comments, let me know if this is something that you've had or um, are curious about or, or you know are looking to to get. I'm always interested in the communication part of it uh, regarding the, the whiskey uh, specifically. So if you want to contribute to the channel, feel free to do so. I'll have links in the description below for that as well. Um, really any uh, other information I'll have uh, linked uh, below as well. So like I always say, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.